We are live with Boberg. He's going to explain the, the newest thing to happen in firearms in 100 years. Yes, sir. All right, what do you got? All right, we've got a reverse feed system on this firearm. It gives us a lot of advantages over the other guys. First off, it starts off like this. Our round goes into our magazine backwards. It goes in the rear of the, of the mag, all right? That is how that is going to get presented to our slide. Can we get close up on that? Sure thing. How are you yeah. doing? Focus, hopefully, at some point. guys see? Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, Go ahead. Okay, so we have a tong set here, and that tong set is going to strip that round off of our magazine. Alrighty. Now, in the end of this frame, we've got a lift mechanism there, and that lift mechanism mechanism gets actuated by the slide as it travels this last quarter inch or so, and what that's going to do is it's going to take our round, and that's going to push it right up into our bolt face. So now we're going straight into our barrel. We've eliminated the need for a feed ramp. And since we're not using a feed ramp, and we're not knuckling that round up that feed ramp, we're going straight in, I get to make my chamber a little tighter. And that's the first way we get more power, more pressure off of any given cartridge than any of the other guys can do. We're also able to utilize a rotating barrel lock breech system. And that's going to keep our slide and our bolt face and our, and our uh, barrel one complete piece until our pill is 25 yards down range. So we've milked out all the power we can out of that charge. We've kept everything locked up tight. And that's the second way we get more power and more accuracy than the other guys can do with any given cartridge. And since we are yanking that round out the back of our gun, out the back of our magazine, excuse me, rather than shoving it forward, we're sneaking it under our barrel for all practical purposes. And I get to have a barrel that extends right over the top of my magazine. And that's the third way we get more power and more accuracy than everyone else. So we end up with a 5.1 inch gun in our shorty. It has a 3.35 inch barrel in it. It's the same size barrel as a lot of mid-sized semi-automatic. And actually just a hair shorter than my CC75 Border one. We're also the lightest felt recoils. Whereas any of the other shorties, subcompacts, a bear to rack. This is not a bear to rack. Easiest racking, semi-auto, subcompact, 9mm out there. Lowest felt recoil of any 9 subcompact in its size class, lower than a vast majority of the 380s in its size class, and lower than some of the 9mm that are larger than this. And that's because we don't use a recoil spring in this firearm. Our spring that normally sits right in here, when I haven't yanked it apart a million times. That's just a return spring. You could take this out of the gun, throw it in the garbage, shoot the gun for the rest of your life, everything would be fine. You would just have to slap that spring back all the time, or the slide back yourself. Our recoil is being taken up by that lift mechanism and by our, rever our rotating barrel mechanism. And mechanically, they are a far superior way of absorbing energy than a, a simple, old school, tightly wound spring and a bunch of weight on your slide. So they can't come close to that. So it's a, since we're not fighting against the heavy recoil spring, and we're just working against the light slide return, that's what makes that gun so easy to wrap. I mean, you go, you know, the Caltechs or the cars or what have you, you know, fine for whatever, but so you watch people try to wrap those things, and it's sort of bare. Now again, I was talking about the lowest thought recoil. That's another thing that really sets us apart. Uh, the, the movement has been lately with the subcompact guns to get lighter and lighter and smaller and smaller. And you end up with a firearm that people don't want to shoot. They put 25 rounds through it, it's punishing the ball get out, and they put it in their purse, or they put it in their, in their holster, and that's it. In the old days, we used to tell folks to shoot their gun 1,000 rounds before it was broken in and stick it in your belt. Now that's gotten lowered down about 500 rounds, I think that might be because of how much the ammunition is costing these days. At the same time, you want to put 500 rounds through their little pelt. There could be some guys out there that say, yeah, I do it, but most people don't. They don't shoot them, they don't train with them. It's not a viable defense firearm unless you shoot it all the time in practice. Can I ask the ultimate question? Yes, sir. How much? The standard model, which is? Our standard model is our, is our uh, black aluminum frame. And by the way, it's a aircraft aluminum billet frame right. and stainless billet stainless slide and internals. Our standard version is our black aluminum frame and our stainless slide, and that is 1049. Thank you. But you do get what you pay for.